sport that's played all over the world. And now you can find it here in New York City. It's a ball if you consider yourself to be playful or just downright competitive. Did I win? <laughs> Fueling the fun, creative food and drink options just steps off the court, whether you have an appetite for dining or winning. I'm Rachel Holt. Let's find out if I'm any good at this and what the buzz is all about. They're introducing a new sport to New Yorkers, and since they've opened, they've seen business and interest continue to grow. I'm at Corot Club in Brooklyn to try my hand at Patonk. You claim to be the first Patonk bar in the entire country. So let's start with what is Patunk? It's a bull sport. It, it kind of um, is part of a family of sports that includes bocce, horseshoes, shuffleboard, basically any game where you're throwing one thing at another thing. Since you've opened, tell me about the community that's come here because not only do you accept walk-ins, but you also have league members. How many members is that now? Ooh, we're up to about 150 league members. Uh, the league is super diverse, so like in terms of age, gender, everything. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's half beginners and then half more experienced players and they sort of help each other out. Look at all this real estate you have here in Brooklyn and it gets even bigger because there are outdoor courts too. Yep. Walk us through what we can find here. Yeah, we've got 12 total courts. Uh, each court comes with all the necessary equipment. You get your own petanque guide who teaches you how to play. And then of course we've got a full kitchen with a great a menu of some like French street foods, sandwiches and salads. And we've got a full bar with a draft wall and our new beautiful frozen drink machines. Given that this has grown so much since you started this in 2020, how does it feel to introduce something new and see that it's really working and people are excited about it? I think it's a relief. I think for the longest time we were planning this and people had no idea what we were talking about. And then they come in and they're like, oh, I get it. It's a dream come true, to be perfectly honest. Like, this is kind of why we got into this business. We tell each other that we're in the business of fun. We teach everybody. And before you know it, like people are getting the hang of it, they're high-fiving, uh, they're cheering. It's easy cheering. to learn, too. So, uh, I think that's the magic of it, is that you can pop in, learn how to play in five minutes, and then beginner's luck is a real thing. In yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Given that I am a newcomer to the sport, can you show me how it's done here? The funnest part is knocking out your opponent's pool. So we're the Corot Club. Uh, Corot is the best move that you can do in Patong. It's basically when you knock out your opponent and your sticks, and now you have the better ball. All right, don't tempt me with a good time here. Yeah. How you're going to tell you and your and your opponent's rules apart is one team will have the patterns and one team will have the smooth. This is the lucky one, I can feel exactly. it. Exactly. And this is what we're trying to get close to for points. In Patonk, we call this the cochonnet, which means piglet or baby pig in French. Please don't ask me to repeat that. I'm glad you <laughs> said that, not me. Now, anytime you throw the bulls or the cochonnet, you have to stand with both feet inside the circle. Okay. So I'm going to toss one out. On our courts, you want to be at least halfway. And the key to success is how we throw the ball. You don't want to bowl it in like you do bocce. You're going to want to turn your hand over and use your arm like a pendulum to basically lob the ball up and put a little bit of backspin on okay. it. Okay. I'm going to toss one out. Aim a little bit in front. Nice one. I mean, of course, it's perfect. Nope. As if we don't had a doubt. Too bad. You can do I've it. I believe in you. A lot of pressure. A tough act to follow. They're heavier than I would expect. Yes. Yeah, they're very satisfying when, when they hit each other. OK, let's see how I do. Ooh. That was pretty good. You got it. There, you got it. I'm pretty proud of that so one. You have, the better, you have the better ball right now, which means it comes back to me, and now it's my turn. OK, game on. You All got right. it. She's nervous. Oh, yeah. She's nervous. I wasn't prepared for this part. OK. <laughs> oh. oh, maybe not quite. So now I got to go again, because you still have the better ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play into my bulls and maybe get lucky. Nice there we one, go. Dana. And to make things a little interesting, can I try to hit your ball away? 100%. I mean, I like you, <laughs> but I want to win. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Hey. Nice. Yeah, that might be it. I don't know the left. rules, but did I win? <laughs> you have to tell me. That was a lot of fun. I think you have a new uh, customer in me. This is an awesome sport. Hey. Thanks for showing us the ropes mm -hmm. here. And if you want to try it out for yourself, for more information, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.